I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You know how Notion is a great organization tool to keep track of everything, creating lists, and it basically lets you have your life together. Notion is great indeed, but it's also very overwhelming because it gives you the option to create infinite templates, or you have to go through their library and import other templates into your own workspace. If you're still thinking about getting started with Notion, this is a great time to spend some time seeing how it works. I think it's much better to start by downloading other people's templates than trying to figure out how to create your own. And if you're already using Notion and you know how it works, importing other people's templates is also a great idea to complete your own workspace and try out new things. Also, if you need a specific template and someone has already created it, why not save some time and just use it? You will not be called lazy for it. Most people know how Notion is a great place to keep a basic to-do list, keep track of university assignments or build knowledge databases. But really, there are other uses for Notion that maybe you haven't thought of before. Today, I bring you 20 Notion templates that you may want to import into your own workspace. I've divided them into personal productivity, home, learning and business slash work. Also, these are 20 suggestions, but they're definitely not mandatory templates to use all the time. Some of these may be helpful, others may not. It really depends on what you have to plan and how you like to plan. Finally, let me just add that all of the templates featured in this video are offered for free by their creators and will also be linked down below. Okay, so let's start with the basics. The weekly review is a great spread to organize all of your events, thoughts and ideas in 10 categories. This allows you to basically do a brain dump of multiple tasks and then file them accordingly while keeping track of your short and long term goals. This weekly review is a part of the Getting Things Done system by David Allen and it's an exercise that you should do at the start of each week to avoid that overwhelming feeling you usually get on an early Monday morning. This is Michelle B's life dashboard, and it's basically a main template for goals and tasks, subdivided into life goals, weekly, quarterly, yearly, etc. It also features a list with next actions or projects, as well as a daily tracker and a list for quick references and other links. It's incredibly easy to use, but a very powerful template to keep track of during the year. The Year Manifesto is basically a place where you can write your targets, goals, milestones and habits for 2021. You have a situation summary which basically explains how you should do this exercise, and then energy and financial targets, different categories with outcomes for personal and professional goals, and milestones, which are basically smaller objectives you accomplish towards your bigger goals. Finally, you have a section dedicated to habits. And that actually leads us to a habit tracker. As you probably know, I'm not a big fan of habit trackers because I think they're actually able to do you more harm than good. But it would be kind of ridiculous to not include a habit tracker here, so here it is. This one is actually the habit tracker created by the team at Notion, and it's a very simple template that just lists your habits in a table format. You can start a new month by archiving the default template and clicking the Start a new month button. Finally, in the personal productivity category, I suggest you to keep track of your workouts in case you're like me and are currently struggling with trying to keep healthy while in lockdown after almost one year. This template is a database to track training sessions and it features a lot of information like break times, duration, level of difficulty and the type of training program you're actually using. For instance, I do a mix of fitness blender workouts, strength training, ring fit adventure play sessions and yoga classes. So I would register each of those as a program and just select them each time I completed one of those training sessions. Okay, let's go to home templates. And the first template I suggest is a maintenance and cleaning list in Notion. Although some household chores are obviously urgent enough and regular enough for you to remember when to do them, like, well, taking out the trash, cleaning your kitchen and so on, others are really not that obvious and you may be prone to forgetting them. 
This template already features a weekly and monthly list of maintenance tasks around the house, so you can just keep track of their tasks and the specific tasks you need to tackle. It also comes with a handy list with the items you should be checking and how often. For all the plant enthusiasts, there's a plant tracker where you can enter details about your plants like acquisition date, location, name, and you can even attach photos and then also include information related to their maintenance like watering, date and notes, as well as the dates when they should be fertilized. Also, don't forget that with Notion's built-in reminder system, you can actually create reminders in line with this table that will be sent to your email so you don't forget anything. If you usually search online for your recipes, or even if you have PDF versions of cooking books, having a recipe box for all of your favorites is a great way to save time searching for the same recipes online over and over again. You can insert the name of the recipe in the table, as well as tags that basically act as categories, and a link for the recipe. Another big part of your home management will be budget planning. This template allows you to keep track of your expenses and how they compare to a monthly cap. You can add comments, select a category. Instead of creating different tables for different months, you can simply list all of your expenses and then filter the table by month to get an overview of those 30 days. Finally, in the home category, and because we need some hope for the future, you should include a trip planner in your Notion setup. This is a very fun trip planner that features a schedule, a budget, as well as information on bookings, and you can also add pictures and other travel information to carry with you on the go. Let's start the learning category with a reading list. You can use this template to plan out the books you'd like to read in 2021. Since it works as any other table in Notion, you can click each page to write the notes for the book you're listing, as well as any details regarding its genre, the reading status, rating, etc. And for those of you still in college, getting a main college dashboard for everything related to your studies will probably be a good idea. This one is a pretty complex setup which has its own tutorial. I will link that video in the description box below as well. This template is essential for anyone engaging in any kind of research paper, a dissertation or any other type of project based on research. It gives you a good outline for any research or freelance project, including pages for references and notes from meetings with your supervisor. It features a calendar view, a quick notes section and table of contents that you can then use to add in your notes to quickly structure your project. The 5-minute journal is a quick journaling experience with a bunch of prompts. It's a pretty simple template, but can help you build a very rewarding journaling habit. Finally, we have a simple notebook. This is as simple as it gets. It's basically a template where you can add your notes and browse them by category, date and author. Now in the work slash business category. For the first template, we have a one-on-one -on -one meeting tracker. You can use the Add 101 button to generate a new meeting template whenever you need one. Then you should move old conversations into the archive as you create more. This is a great way to quickly share the projects you are working on or have worked on. You can easily add more projects and updates and turn the page private or public according to your needs. This template is also created by Notion and helps you deal with a conversation held with a lot of different people online, which is pretty much important today. It allows you to seamlessly insert a Q&A section, opening remarks, action steps and other notes. Just copy and paste whenever you have a meeting and insert it into the corresponding group or project. This one is a bit related to personal productivity, home, but well, it's also related to your job or business. It includes a categorized Kanban board of any expenses, debts and extra expenses and cash flow calendar so you can see when there's money coming in and out. Finally, and this one is an important one, you should definitely have a project schedule. A project schedule has all the relevant notes and info about your project, including meeting notes, timelines and calendars, documents and streamlined processes. If you still feel a bit overwhelmed with Notion and want to start by really understanding in depth how everything works, 
All you have to do is watch the Notion Beginner's Guide during your free Skillshare trial. You usually have those online courses for like more than a hundred bucks for one or two hours of classes, and then you have Skillshare, which gives you access to its entire library of thousands and thousands of classes for less than $10 a month. And even if you're not willing to start paying that price per month, that's really not a problem because for a limited time, the first 1000 people using the link in my description box will get your free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Using this promo code also tells Skillshare that you came from my channel, which is always nice if you enjoy it and want to keep supporting this type of content. Don't forget, all the links for these templates will be listed down below and I will see you next week. Bye guys!